It's me, A from Life by A. I'm going to show you a video today about the things to do and things not to do when coming to Ho Chi Minh City to visit me. Let's go ahead and get started with what to do before you get to Ho Chi Minh City. I highly recommend getting an invitation letter or even getting your visa before you come here. It's going to save you a lot of hassle and possibly even a lot of money in the long run. Invitation letters can cost you about $25. You can get them online. They'll be emailed to you. You print out the email, uh, the pictures, and uh, when you show up, you stand in line, fill out a form, pay another $50, and voila, you're in with a tourist visa. Uh, however, not doing this or failing to get that letter can end up costing you upwards of $250 as they will see you as trying to enter the country illegally and then charge you to get a visa on arrival. I'm in Vietnam. Made it through customs. Not gonna beat my bags. So happy to be here. This is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna get in so much trouble. Next, when you get here. In the airport, they're gonna give you a key. There's gonna be a kiosk, and they're gonna be like, "Hey, we're gonna sell you a cell phone, a uh, SIM card. Buy it. Trust me, it's worth it. It's ten dollars. Last you two and a half weeks, roughly. Um, this is what it last, lasted me with unlimited data uh, and unlimited uh, phone time too. So definitely check that out." Uh, when you get to the airport, you're gonna make it through customs, get through everything. Uh, then you're gonna be like, hey, how do I get where I need to go? Because I'm not coming to pick you up. I love you, I really do. But uh, no, not gonna happen. I'll probably be at work or doing something else anyways uh, until you get there. So you're gonna wanna get a grab. Which is an app, it's amazing, it works wonderful. But if you don't want to do that, or if you're not technologically advanced enough to get a grab, then I'm going to recommend only two taxi companies for you to use. Mylin. And Vinasun. They're the only two companies that every person must use the meter. Uh, it's kind of automatically done as soon as they start driving the meter starts uh, These guys are trustworthy and the, their rates are very fair anyway, so uh, Use those two companies everybody else is going to try and negotiate with you and possibly even scam you I'm looking out for you and your wallet. You're welcome Then you're gonna get to your hotel. You're gonna be like, yeah, I'm relaxing. I'm enjoying myself. Oh Don't drink the tap water. Just don't do it. I don't want you to end up like you know with the bubble guts you know what I'm talking about get home relax first things first take a picture of your passport take a picture of your visa uh, make a copy of them and then put your visa in your hotel leave it there uh, usually the copy will suffice for things uh, but I've been here for seven months and I have not talked to a police officer at all about uh, needing my passport by the way if you don't know, this is Misa. She's my girlfriend. She follows me everywhere. I don't know. Am I? Are you? Am I? So you're saying I'm single again? Uh-huh. Okay. She just does not know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, so you get to the hotel. Now you relax. You got all that handled. You're about to go out. Good. Things about going out. Sidewalks are not made for pedestrians. Uh, what was I talking about? Yeah, I was talking about the sidewalks. In the sidewalks, they are not meant for pedestrians. Granted, in this park, pretty good, but we're in a really fancy area. In other parks, or other parts of Ho Chi Minh City, sidewalks are meant for motorbike parking street vendors and motorbikes to drive when traffic gets really bad so you have to watch out watch your back constantly you know head on a swivel don't be distracted by your cell phone and texting that brings me up to another point texting while ta while driving or walking is a really bad idea reason is reason is <laughs> Oh, 
All right, we're gonna have to cut that part out. <laughs> Reason is, while you are walking, uh, someone will come up behind you with a motorbike and snatch your phone right out of your hands. There's nothing you can do. You can't even call the cops because the cops aren't gonna do, you can't, you don't have a phone. You don't have anything. And they're usually really good at actually snatching it out of your hand. One of my friends actually was riding on the back of a bike and it was snatched out of his hand while he was on the back of a bike uh, by another biker. So, that being said, keep that in mind. Watch your possessions. Uh, go out, enjoy yourself, have a good time. Ah, uh, here in Ho Chi Minh City, the pollution can sometimes be quite bad. There's an app, I'll leave a link to it down below, uh, or a link to the website, where you can check the pollution levels daily of cities all around the world, and you can purchase a mask to kind of push off the pollution. I don't wear one on a daily basis unless I'm on my bike. That's just a lot of air being pushed into your nostrils and your whole face. So I want to filter that air. But as far as like walking around, um, I don't really bother with it too much. Hasn't been that bad up until the last couple of days to where you don't need one really just walking around during the day. Uh, okay, so we got the mask. We got telling you about protecting your valuables a little bit. You, you, you're out, you're venturing. You're trying to get some food. Yeah, you're walking by, you smell someone cooking up some barbecue on the side of the road. It smells delicious, it looks good. I just want to like welcome you down. Everybody always kind of fucking scam you and take your money. That bunny probably don't worth, that type of bunny only worth. Don't do it, don't. Do it. Save it. Go to a nice restaurant. Not so much a nice restaurant, but go to a restaurant. The street food here, while it looks delicious, while it looks tempting, can sometimes be poison to you, and you don't want that. You don't want to die. I don't want you to be in the hospital. I don't want you to come here and then spend the whole time in the hospital and be like, but Abram, you live there. Why didn't you tell me about this? I'm telling you about it now. You've been warned. You've been warned. Avoid street food. While it might look delicious and tasty and yummy and the smells of the barbecue coming out to you, uh, our bodies are not going to be acclimated to the bacterias that locals will be able to eat no problem. So highly recommend avoiding the street food. Stick to restaurants. I'm not saying with the fancy restaurants, but you can do some very local restaurants. Make sure that there are some locals inside eating. That should help you out to determine whether it's going to be good or not. Now you've gotten some food. You want to do some sopping or something? Yeah, Bentan Market. This is the market, the number one night market here in Ho Chi Minh City. It is nice, it is beautiful, it has a lot of different things in it, very unique. What do they call it though? Stupid, tourist market. <laughs> there you go. You got it. Not from me, from a local. Stupid a local. tourist market. A local. Yeah. Stupid tourist market, okay? Uh, you will overpay at this market. It just, it's going to happen. Lots of great things, but what they do, what they are experts at is negotiating and getting stuff out of, getting money out of you. Uh, the prices may be marked. Even looking at the prices, you might be like, oh man, this is such a great deal. Still. Negotiate. Trust me, you will thank me later. Okay? This one in the background. See right there? Boop. Yeah, crazy. All right. Now you've done your shopping. You're ready to have some other adventures. There are tons of tour companies. You can go into hostels and take tours. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Go walk around, find a tour company. <laughs> even do your research online you can find companies that will take care of you there nicely as well uh, now the way I did it I just found out what I wanted to do and figured out my own way of of getting it and uh, and going on the tour so like the Gucci tunnels I did it with a bus trip and it was an interesting it was an interesting adventure it was quite a bit cheaper but uh, 
it was on our own terms and we let we met some cool people on the way and had some cool experiences uh now next let's see we talked about food we talked about going out after shopping and you're looking to do something fun fellas love you women here are beautiful they're everywhere they're frisky they're friendly when they're doing that they're actually trying to steal your stuff so be careful watch your stuff um there's been a couple occasions where someone I know has walking down the street and uh, one of the girls kind of grabbed their uh, nether regions and uh, held on to them quite tightly as another girl came and took everything out of their pockets. I don't want this to happen to you. I'm warning you now. If that happens, don't worry about your, your junk. Your junk will be fine. Protect your pockets um, and run. Run. Yeah. Uh, that being said, don't get too drunk here because that tends to happen. They will take advantage of you. Take your credit cards, max them out, run your bill up, whatever. And then the other thing is they have balloons, nitrous oxide balloons. Don't do them. Just don't. Save yourself the headache. Uh, while it could be cool, it could also be super dangerous. There's no regulation on it. There's nothing saying, uh, like telling you how much you can do, how much you can't do. That's completely up to you. I just stay away from it myself. All right, that being said, you guys, Ho Chi Minh City is amazing. It's in a great place. Oh, I forgot to tell you how to cross the street here. You just kind of stare in traffic, walk into the traffic, uh, not straight across the street, but into the oncoming traffic. When you get to the center of the street, turn, walk into the incoming traffic again while looking. No erratic movements, just nice and slow and steady. Let the drivers know, hey, I'm walking here. Raise your hand if you need to, just like, like super high. They tend to move out of the way. The sun here is brutal so when you're out in public wear sunscreen protect yourself uh, protect yourself from the sun you will see many uh, people dressed in full gear as they're riding their bikes we call them sun ninjas yeah it's not really that bad the sun's not really that bad but uh you know i want to make sure to protect myself very much so and uh, take care of it so this is where i'm at just like chilling yeah, look at it. There's the beach. It's awesome. Now you want to book accommodation. You don't know where to stay in the city. And you don't really have any contacts other than me. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to include a district map for you. I'll leave a link to that as well down below. This way you have an idea of where you want to stay. Each district has something different and fun to offer. I highly recommend taking a look at it and planning out your trip accordingly. Let's talk about the partying for those that are coming here to enjoy themselves, relax, and have a few adult beverages. I would recommend Bui Vien. It's an absolutely amazing place. Tons of loud music, tons of bars, tons of craziness going on. A few tips here. Pay your beers as they come. Pay your bill every time you order a beer. Do not let the bill get too big as this can lead to scams. So they might be able to tack on a few extra beers that you didn't actually drink and they'll either drink them later or they'll just pocket the money. So I recommend if you order one, pay one or find some other way of keeping track where it's not left up to the servers of the restaurants. All right, guys, I love you. I want you to be safe when you come to visit me. These are just a few different things. Uh, if you have any questions, please drop them a comment. If you are watching this and you this is your first time looking at my channel or something, please hit a like, hit the like button, subscribe down below. You'll see more crazy stuff. And uh, leave a comment. Let me know that you were here. Let me know what you want to see of Ho Chi Minh City in, in Saigon, in Vietnam. I'd be more than happy to go check it out, see what I can do. Bring a little twist, bring a little weirdness, and bring that crazy person that's running around over there somewhere. All right, love you guys, peace.